Okay, where were we? <clears throat> we uh, we done a load of um, stuff. Uh, we done a load of um, changes, uh, and we kept running into uh, an error from Salt. Well, not an error, a warning about deprecated features. Um, let's just see. Uh, wait, a vagrant. Uh, right. Um, oh, come on. Uh, all right. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to show you later. Um, Right, so if I was doing stuff like this, I was getting out these errors. Um, uh, there we go. Uh, so you can see here I've got a collection instead of collections, blah, 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 is deprecated. I need 3.8 and we'll stop working. Right, okay, so uh, the point was that I, th I suspected it might be because I'm using a, a slightly out of date version of SOD. A fact we can confirm using the salt runner manage versions, uh, <clears throat> which ironically puts out very similar errors. Okay, so you can see here I'm running uh, on my master, I'm running 3000.3, .3, and on server one, I'm running 3000.3, .3, uh, and server two, I'm running the minion. These are the minions, okay, which is here, and it claims to be up to date. What that means is it's up to date with respect to this master. And in actual fact, if I just naively try to do an update uh, now, uh, nothing will happen um, because I am currently running the latest 3000. Uh, in fact, if we go to look at the release notes for uh, Salt Stack, uh, so if I go to, well, I mean, you, you can see it here actually on the documentation. Um, we've actually got uh, the two versions up here. Uh, this one, uh, which is uh, version 3000.3, .3, and 3001.1 3, is actually the latest. Now, if I go to uh, the release notes, oops, uh, which, uh, let me see, installation, is it under there? Uh, oh, well, quick install, additional. Uh, where, where, are the, where are the release notes? Okay. Release notes, here we go. Right. Uh, yeah, so going to the release notes, you can see that 3000.3 .3 is actually the latest um, uh, of the 3000 series, but there is this 3001, the sodium release, uh, of which we've now got 3001.1. .1. So we're not actually running the very latest. Now, interestingly, uh, when you go and look at the release notes, uh, here we go. Python 2 support has been dropped. So these errors, which are largely related to uh, older libraries, uh, may very well be cleaned up now that they are officially uh, on uh, Python 3. So we want to do an update. The problem is, if you do do an update, uh, um, before we go doing updates, okay, there are a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, before going and doing an update, you want to do a number of things. Uh, the first thing we've already done is check the version numbers and make sure we're up to date. Now, the next thing we want to do is do a backup of our uh, salt 
uh, etc directories so etc.sol so um, we want to back up everything under here uh, now we haven't done a great deal of configuration um, but if we had then uh, obviously we would want to preserve that so we back up everything under salt which includes for example the pki keys which are important because they contain all of the minion keys so there's that uh, <clears throat> and we want to do that for our master and all of our minions then having done that backup we can then do the update of the master you always want to update the master first uh, then we can update all the minions now updating the master will also update the minions if we use the packages all of our system was installed using um, the bootstrap script that means that they've all used the salt stack repository to do their installations from um, and if we look at uh, etc et slash apt sources uh, list dot d oops dot d okay you'll find there's a salt stack list in there and if you look at that you'll see that it is pointing to uh, this salt stack repository uh, and at the end here it says it's the 3000 series so doing an update from that will only get us an update of the 3000 series releases all we need is to change that 3000 to 3001 so that we're pointing to the latest sodium uh, release repository everything else can stay the same because our boston uh, we're still on debian 10 boston uh, we still want to be on the main repository not on any sort of test repository or anything like that so we need to make that change as well okay and then having made that change we can then do the upgrades okay now before i do any of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use vagrant okay and i'm going to um i'm going to create a snapshot okay so we can do snapshot save and then we just give it a name that is convenient so we'll call it um um let's call it pre-salt okay pre-salt up yeah. so it's pre-salt up update uh, so we can create a snapshot now <clears throat> we're doing that here because that essentially gives us uh, a get out of jail free card uh, when we cock things up we can go back to this snapshot or if we want to try something else we can go back to the snapshot uh, which will take us back in time to exactly where we are now Cool. Okay, so having created that snapshot, <clears throat> uh, we can now log back in again <clears throat> and we can go through our update process. <clears throat> Rather bizarrely, I've just noticed that the camera, camera's on and running. Uh, why ever not? Mm. That's a little odd. Uh, OBS for some reason has stopped broadcasting my cameras. Uh, rather bizarrely. Uh, it has shrunk them down to almost nothing. Interesting. It would appear that my cameras are uh, bar. Oh well, it doesn't matter. You don't want to see my ugly face anyway. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well, I'll sort of that for next time. Right. Right, so um where was I? Sudo uh, oops uh, 
uh, <clears throat> the lesson here being that you should really check your setup before you start doing stuff anyway okay so we're pseudo into that right so now what we want to do is if you remember we want to first do our backup uh, then having done the backup we want to um, uh, Uh, yeah, having done the backup, uh, we then want to uh, change our repository. <laughs> uh, then, having done, having changed our repository, we can then do the full, uh, the full update. So, let's do our backups first. So, the backups we can use salt. So, we can do uh, basically run this on everything. Uh, and we want to actually just use uh, the run function within the command module, uh, which will run an arbitrary command on, in this case, all of the minions. Okay. And the command we want to run is we want to make a directory. Uh, and we use minus p to create any intermediate directories. And we're going to call it backups. Uh, salt dot back and assuming that that's successful we then want to go on and do a copy we want to do an archive copy which preserves all of the various settings uh, if one already exists then we've got to just move it to one side just in case we need the previous backup okay. uh, then we do etc salt uh, everything within salt and we back that up to var backups slash salt dot back okay so that's our um oops uh, uh, that's our uh, backup command uh, it's actually two commands, but it's one command as far as the system is concerned. Uh, so that's going to run on all of our minions, uh, which of course will include our local minion. So if we look at our backups, uh, you'll see we've got loads of stuff in there, but one of those is salt.back. And there we go, there's the backup of our salt. Now if we run it a second time, uh, so if we run that command again, uh, just for illustration purposes okay you can see now that we're getting all of these uh, tilde ones okay which is basically we're backing up version one of the file so that is the backup of the original base uh, backup file and then we've got the actual backup file there so that's our backup of our salt done <clears throat> now uh, what we want to do now is uh, effectively we want to do uh, at get yes install salt master okay but as I said before if we run this now uh, it's just going to tell us that everything's up to date okay uh, minus one uh, because we're actually on the 3000 so you can see upgraded zero uh, newly installed zero Nothing to remove and 17 have not been upgraded because we're not interested in upgrading anything else and you can see here salt master is already the newest version 3003 okay which is puzzling of course because uh, we want it uh, to be 3001.1 okay so The first thing we need to do then is to change all of those 3000 to 3001 in the salt stack LST. Now we could do that manually, but there's no point in having a dog and barking yourself. So we'll use salt again. Uh, we'll use the command run command. Uh, we're going to use sed uh, minus i, which does the edit in place. Now we know that this file only contains one line, so we just want to substitute 3000, uh, 3000 for 3001. Okay, so that's the, the only command that we need to run. We're going to run it on the file, etc. apt uh, sources 
list directory. Uh, and the file we're going to do on is the sort stack dot list. Okay. So we just want to run a single set command, which is going to do a substitute of 3000 for 3001 on the file, etc. at sources list d sort stack dot list. Uh, and it's going to do that in place. In other words, it's not going to create any other file, it's just going to overwrite. Uh, and because we did salt start, that will be done on all of our minions. Now we can confirm that that's happened on our uh, master. We can do apt, I mean, we, we, uh, uh, et cetera, slash apt, uh, sources list, salt stack. Okay, so now you can see it says 3001 at the end of that rather than 3000. So now we're in a position that we can actually do our upgrade. Now, for the salt master, we can do it locally. We don't need to use salt at all. We can just use this. Uh, and now you'll notice uh, that nothing's happened because uh, I should have done that first. Uh, uh, and that will do the update of the repository. We need to do that in order that it reads the new 3001 package list. Now I can do the install. And you can see it's updated, uh, updating everything. And here's the reason why we need the backup. You know, just in case it overwrites those, by default it should actually leave the um, standard one in there, but uh, you never know. Right, uh, sorry, leave the existing one in there if there's a, uh, no conflicts. Uh, right, so uh, we can do that version runner again, uh, and that will confirm what's just happened. Okay, so now you can see the master is 3001.1. .1. And we've now got difference of opinion about the minions. Okay, so the minion on server one is 3001. That was updated as well. Uh, so was salt cloud, actually. You can see here salt common, salt cloud. Uh, so salt common, salt cloud, salt minion, and salt master were all updated on this machine. And that's just a consequence of the sort of knock on effect of updating the master. So we've now got up to date minion on 3001. Uh, for master and on server one, it, we've still got an old one that says minion requires an update for server two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is update all of our other minions. Okay, now we can do that using salt. So we can say, right, all of the salts, we want to do a package install. So again, we're running a uh, um, execution module directly. Uh, and we say, right, well, I want to update the salt minion. Now then, refresh equals true. What that means is we don't have to run the update first. Refresh will automatically do an update, uh, which means that we will automatically do that um, uh, app get update in order to refresh the package list before we try to do the update. It's always worth doing the refresh equals true. Now, uh, why it's not the default, not sure. I guess because it stops you making silly mistakes, but I would argue that the silly mistakes are more likely to be the other way around. Um, so, now then, word of warning about this. Uh, we don't expect to get a result back from uh, the minions that have been updated. Uh, and the reason we don't expect to get a result back, if you think about it logically, is that what's going to happen is this command will be sent to the old minion. Uh, the old minion will do the package update, and during the package update, the service is going to end up being restarted, which means that having updated all the packages uh, and updated, for example, the service reference, the service will then restart with the new salt minion. Uh, and what that means is that the salt minion that is running the package install is going to die before it sends out a result. 
So we don't expect to get a result back. Furthermore, our salt minion will disappear all the time while it's doing the server update, uh, as in the service restart. Uh, and we have to then wait for the minion to recontact the master again uh, before we'll be able to see the minion. So we expect there to be a, a gap where the salt minion is basically disappeared. We'll see that in a second. Now, now the machine hasn't disappeared, but the salt minion has. Okay, so if we run that. So you can see server one, uh, basically, we don't expect anything to happen because it's already up to date. And server two will fail. Uh, it'll come back and it'll say uh, it didn't get a reply. But it takes a while to time out. So there you go, didn't return any data. And the actual fact, if we use this command, the, the runner uh, jobs uh, is actually a really good thing to know. Uh, we'll come back to that sometime. But if we do run that, you'll see that it won't return anything because that job will never return. So if we run and do managed versions, what you'll see is that the uh, server 2 is uh, you know, AWOL. Uh, and this is because, um, as I said, uh, the service is currently being restarted and it's trying to reconnect with the uh, salt master. So you can see we're getting false back. Okay, uh, in other words, server two is, there you go, minion offline. It's not connected. And it takes it takes a few seconds. I mean, this is in a virtualized environment as well, which will make it slower. But potentially, uh, you could lose your minions for a minute or two uh, while, uh, while it's doing these updates. A lot of this time, by the way, is not just the, the, the fact it's doing an update in the background, um, which obviously takes time, but it's also, uh, it takes a few seconds for the minion to contact the master and re-authenticate with the master to say, yeah, I, I really am me. So there we go. Okay, so it's, it's worked now. Uh, so the server two, everything's up to date now. So the master is at 3000.1. And the two minions are at 3000.1. Okay, and it certainly seems to have fixed our problem uh, because you'll notice that we're no longer getting that warning coming back. Uh, and if we go back to the original salt, yeah, because that, that was just the salt runner causing the problem. But if we go back to the pillar items, which if you recall was still was also coming out with that error, let's see whether it's fixed that problem. Bingo. We're no longer getting any warnings out. So it would appear that updating to 3001 has fixed our problem, which is awesome. Right, uh, I'm going to stop this stream now and I'm going to go away and try and fix stuff uh, and see if I can get these cameras back connected. <laughs>